Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for tonight's meeting. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Solid right by Yuri Orcus Gamboa. Gamboa's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is the block. He did it there well. Teddy, I find it unrealistic that this guy's got much of a chance against this power puncher. Hey, that doesn't make you Notre Dame is there, Joe. The dream's edge is speed. He can get in and out, he can get you offensively, he can get away from you defensively. Yeah, he has radial tires, and you gotta take some air out of those tires. No better place or way to do that than go downstairs. Gamboa's not putting forth the defense you need to have at this level of the game. No, but you got to come here with it, Joe. You know, it's easy for you and me to sit. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Nice block by Yuri Orcus Gamboa. And he engages in the clinch. The Dream scoring with that right hand. 90 seconds to go here in this round. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. The Dream's able to land a good, solid left hand. Able to dismiss that body shot. And we come to the end of round number two. Gamboa's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. A freight train uppercut by Yuri Orcus Gamboa. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Not Could this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Fine looking right hand by the Dream. We got it. The beginning of round four, a chance to look at the scorecards, and Teddy, you like what he's done so far early, a clean sweep of all three rounds. Yeah, a couple of rounds were close, but on the inside, when both of them had their chance to separate a little bit, he was the one who made the right decision to punch. What an impact that left hand just made by the Dream. 90 seconds to go in round number four. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Great counterpunch, and I loved how he moved off to the side and then landed it. Gamboa's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just getting away from that right hand, is really costing him a lot here. Well, it's pretty simple. The old timers would say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you. Unable to connect by the Dream. And that's the end of round four. The Dream's well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, 
But time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Halfway into round number five here. Solid shot, the left hand came in. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, solid. Oh, that's beautiful stuff, Teddy. That is beautiful work with that combination to score the knockdown. Well, that's the benefit of putting them together. One sets up the other one. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're gonna find out. Wow! He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five, six. The ref stops the fight. Yuri Orcus Gamboa's bombs away worked again. Knockout victory for him. That's exactly why he packs the stands. This fight is over. Boy, you got to love a power puncher when he's on his game. Yeah, and you have to love a finisher. He knew how to end it. He knew which punches to choose at the right time. 